finishing his work? Yeah, if it, if it doesn't work, you'll be in the video two times. <laughs> so, I'm here at JIB. Yeah. What's JIB mean? So, JIB is uh, the name of my CEO. GIB. Yep. Jib. Okay. Jib, okay. Yeah. So I'm at Jib Shop, JIB, which is uh, quite a popular computer store in Thailand. And I've been doing the videos each night, and what happens is when it comes to rendering the videos, you know, to turn all the little bits into one big video, it takes a little bit of time. Not long, but so I decided I wanted to upgrade. So, <laughs> So this is the technician. He's not allowed to smile because he's a nerd, right? <laughs> Nerds do not smile. No laughing, no smiling. So I had um, four gigs in there, so, and I'm, I'm allowed to upgrade to eight gigs. So I went online last night and um, found out that I can just put four more in. It only supports eight gigs, so it, my rendering speed should increase probably by. A, a little, about a quarter, I guess. I'm guessing. But the cool thing the is, the cool thing is, when I went online, I asked the Dell guy from the United States about the uh, how many uh, megahertz it's the bus speed is of the RAM and so on. So I knew what to get today. He said it cost sixty dollars, which is about two thousand two hundred baht. Yeah. And the the four gigs that I'm, I got from here to go in cost 50% of the half price, 1,000 Lung Pan Song Roy, 1,200, so that's about about 30 pounds, 30 dollars, sorry, so half price, so now you know I live in Thailand. <laughs> Too tall. <laughs> I have that problem. Okay. So, put the memory in. Memory's done. Yes. The first boot up was very slow. I was like, hey, what's wrong with this? But I guess what it was doing is uh, collecting data as well as trying to boot up. So, switched it off after that and then turned it back on again. Lightning. A lot faster. Just four, four gigabytes more RAM made it a lot faster. So I'm hoping the rendering when I do the videos will be a lot faster. I forgot your name. Boom. Boom. He's been telling me about a um, solid state drive. Yep. So what he said was you take the two ways of doing it. You can take the CD ROM drive out and then put this solid state thing inside it. And then you um, you can boot to this as a bootable drive. Something like this. Something like that. It's a bootable drive, but it's like six times faster. No moving parts. It's just uh, like a booting to memory. Yeah. So the hard disk I have inside now is one terabyte. This is uh, 120 gigabytes. So this is how much is this? The carrier costs 750 baht. And the the actual drive cost two thousand two thousand baht. So that's about in pounds. I, I can't remember right now. But anyway, <laughs> to get one terabyte solid drive is thirteen thousand baht, which is like a couple hundred pounds, I think. But six times faster, and the boot speed is everything's faster. So I think what I'm going to do is. Um, I'll, I'll stay with the memory, what I've got now, and then later if I need to go faster, I'll just put the 120 gig boot to that and then I save everything on the outside. Because I'm not spending 13,000 baht. But here, here's one. Uh, so, uh, for this uh, information, one terabyte, the cheapest one is uh, the build, for the build D. It's only one, one, uh, 10,000. So 10,000 baht is the cheapest one terabyte solid state drive. There's one here, 250 gigs for 3,490, which is not bad actually. So if you if you have this as your bootable drive, your laptop will be lightning speed, and then 
put like a one terabyte external USB connection on so that it can you store all your data on there. Those stuff to think about. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now I have to pay. <laughs> hey. Okay, all right, come. Okay, let me get a Long time song, Roy? Long time, 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 <laughs> you see, that's the technician. One word. <laughs> and me, I talk a long story. He, one word. A man of few words. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So what I did this morning is I went to the computer shop to get some more memory for my laptop. I mean, it's a new laptop and it's fast, <clears throat> but. When it comes to rendering, it's like, come on. But rendering it will really slow it down. So I thought, well, maybe. I thought of getting a, a desktop computer. I thought it might be a little bit faster. But then, I th then the guy said, he suggested upgrade the memory. And I thought, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So I looked at memory, how much it cost, <coughs> excuse me, last night online. And I was talking to a technician through the Dell website. And he said it costs the equivalent of um, about 2,500 baht. Plus, I'd have had to pay for shipping, so probably close to 3,000 baht. So the, the maximum I can go is to is to um, eight gig. I already had four in there. There's no online memory. There's two slots. So this morning I had to buy four more gig. And, uh, and then um, for the techie ones, 1600 uh, megahertz the cycle of the, of the bus speed. So then I paid for that, but it was only 1200 baht. So if I'd have bought it from America, it'd have been close to 3000 baht. So I made a really good savings. But here's the, here's the kicker I, these guys who work in this shop, they're in the mall now. But they actually worked in another shop, <coughs> and they opened a shop here as well. So I, I went in there one day a while back, and uh, I knew everybody because I've been in where I bought my laptop from. But there's one guy is a technician, one one is a salesman, but and software guy, and another one, the lady is a, you know, she helps out and does all the money. But the two guys I know. And the one guy who does the software, let's just say um, he's an expert at software. I'll leave it at that. I, I got there at quarter past ten this morning, and I spent. It took probably a half an hour because on the old Dell laptops, there's a little tiny door at the back uh, underneath. You take that one screw out, take the door off, slot your memory in, put it back on, done maybe 10 minutes <coughs> but now you have to take part of the top off to take some screws off to take the whole bottom off you may put it all back together done when I first booted it up it was slow and then the second boot very very fast but I was by the time the guy finished messing with all kinds of different software for me I um, I've been in there three and a half hours just standing there back in the army days. So I had to go get some lunch. So I went, I ate my lunch and then came here for a coffee. So I got myself a mocha coffee with some dark chocolate brownie. I thought, why so not? I got, a, got myself a mocha coffee and a dark chocolate brownie and I thought, I finished eating, I'm just going to sit here and relax and drink a coffee, chill out a little while, and then um, I've got my uh, dinner for this evening, the same as 
thing with me is when I find something I like, I, I stay there. I guess I'm a typical male. But I, uh, I, I bought lunch and I bought the same thing for, for my evening meal to take away. So I've got nowhere to rush in a hurry. So I'm enjoying my coffee, enjoying my cake, and I think I had a very productive day. So now my laptop is running at lightning speed, and I have some. Uh, I said I bought, I got some. I bought some new software. So I think I got enough to keep me out of mischief for a long time. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a great day. All the best. Be careful out there.